today I'm going to review not one but six putters from Ping's new putter range. Hi, I'm Paul and this is The Golf Show. When Ping bring out a new putter range, it's a big deal, and rightly so. The Ping Ansa revolutionised putter design. The Ping Ansa style has won more times on tour than any other putter style. So they brought out 10 new putters in this new range. It's called the 2023 range, or sometimes it's called the new Ping range, depending on which websites you go on. I'm going to review my favourite six of those today. I'm here in the Swing Centre at Fulford Golf Club. We're going to give these a go. These have got some beautiful materials on them. Some have got inserts, some have got a milled face. Nice shafts and nice grips. I'm going to test these out now and let you know my honest thoughts on these putters. Okay, let's see what they all look like. You can certainly feel the difference with the insert in this. Not quite as fast as the ball leaving the face. I think it's just a bit more forgiving than perhaps the, the normal answer Scotty Cameron kind of blade. Is the centre shafted DS72C? This has got the tungsten heel and toe weights, it's got a shallow milled face. Let's give it a go. That's interesting, you've got the sort of chrome top bar and then the black mallet behind it. Not the best swing, Paul, but it's gone in. Quite a small head, quite compact. I think that's going to really focus you want hitting the ball out in the middle. That's a better putt. Let's try a mallet putter next. This is the Monday mallet. Ping have increased the forgiveness on this, they say, by putting a lighter aluminium body on a steel sole plate. And it's actually got an insert in it. It looks like it's milled. They've done a really subtle job on that. Okay, nice three alignment cues on there. Let's see how we get on. No pressure Monday, but everything's gone in so far. I like these pin grips as well. We'll look at those. Oh, Paul, you missed one, boy. Come on, PCH. Oh, I mean, I've not had any breakfast, and you know what I'm like when I've had any breakfast, but you've got to hit your putts. I certainly feel the difference with the insert in this. Not quite as fast as the ball leaving the face. Not out of three. Boo! What would Meatloaf say? Two out of three? It's not bad. Oh, three good putts, only one went in. I think I'm definitely leaning towards the one with the milled faces. But it's really interesting, isn't it? Not very often people bring out a range of putters where you've got some milled and some inserts. It's normally all of one and none of the other. Very nice. One to go. Ooh. 
lovely sound with these real quality putters that was really interesting a big variety there of milled faces deep grooves smooth milling inserts different shafts okay let's take a look at the tech behind each of those this is the answer 2d it's a blade style putter but it's that wider blade that we've seen tony fee now use on tour it's got the p-backs insert with a shallow milled surround it feels really nice i love the sound on this and i love the weight i thought the black shaft looked great it's got tungsten toe and heel weights in the face of the putter which was so subtle i didn't even notice them this was a really nice putter it comes in a standard length of 34 it's got a lie angle of four degrees. You can change the loft on this and it's got a graphite shaft. All of the ping putters come with three different styles of grip from a tapered sort of pistol style grip to quite a chunky one. I think this is a really nice putter, but would this be the one I go for? This is the DS72C center shafted putter. So it's ping say the head's gonna offer you visual symmetry and it's got tungsten heel and toe weights. They're a bit more prominent here with the contrast colours there than you could see on the uh, Answer 2D. It's got a shallow milled face to provide a firmer response and a consistent ball speed. This is a mid mallet style, again standard is 34, lie angle of 20. You can get the loft change on these and it's got a chrome steel shaft and again there are three different types of grip available. This one's called the Mundy Mallet. I don't think it's named after my mate Terry Mundy who was Ian Porter's caddy for all those years. Ping say the forgiveness is driven way up on this with that lighter aluminium body we were talking about with a stainless steel sole plate. Again, this has got the P-backs insert with a smooth mill surround. Slightly lighter putter this one, again, all the same lens, all the same options. It's got a double bend chrome steel shaft. Next up is the Tyne G, which has got the trio of white lines and a ball width cavity floor for an easy ball pickup. That shouldn't be the main reason you buy one of these, but it is pretty cool. The cutout redistributes the mass to the perimeter and gives you added stability. Again, it's got the ping P-backs insert with the shallow milled face surround. 360 grams is slightly heavier this one. This should suit a slight arc or a straight back and through stroke. It's got a double bend chrome steel shaft. I think this one's going to fly off the shelves. This is the Prime Time 4. Ping say it's visually distinct. The customary twin forks make the head highly stable and ensure forgiveness and accuracy. It's got a shallow milled face. It's a mallet style. 365 grams. We're getting even heavier here. Again, all the same customization options and a chrome steel shaft. The Tomcat 14, this is a multi-material construction. This is really innovative, I think. It creates the highest MOI amongst all these putters. It's 380 grams, so it's super heavy. Aluminium body with a stainless steel sole plate. It's got a smooth milled face. It's got a double bend chrome steel shaft. If you're a regular viewer of the Golf Show, you know I do tend to get through putters fairly quickly, but when you're testing out all this great kit all the time, it's really easy to get your head turned. I've had a few ping putters in the past and a criticism on all of them is the head covers. They've all been pretty poor, pretty cheap feel. I mean, I know you want to spend the money on the club, but a nice head cover is, is important. These ones are beautiful. All magnetic closures. That looks like a premium head cover. If we look at the one for the mallet as well. Really nice finish on those. I think Ping have done a brilliant job this year and they've really gone for it. You know, four different types of putter face. Shallow milled, smooth milled, a P-backs insert with shallow milling and a P-backs insert with smooth milling. You know, most manufacturers would put all their money on one horse, wouldn't they, when they bring a range out and it'd be the same face but a different head style. So, well done Ping there. There's even an arm lock version on one of these putters. You know, the multi-material compounds with the aluminium on top of the, the stainless steel plate is a really good idea and it looks beautiful. All of these putters look great. I did say at the start of the episode, there's a promo code. So if you come into the pro shop at Fulford or give them a call and you want to buy one of these putters, say, Golf Show is the best. I know, it's cheesy, isn't it? But Golf Show is the best is the promo code and that'll give you a free putter fitting. And if you buy one, you'll get a free putting lesson as well. So we can't say further than that. But before I finish the episode, I've got to tell you which one of these was my favourite.
They were six beautiful putters and I think I could probably game three of those, but the one that I thought was fantastic was... The answer, 2D. The graphite shaft felt really nice. Shaft technology is where putters are going. We've seen that with LAB. Beautiful looking putter, just that little bit wider sole. I missed one putt all morning and that thing lipped out. That is a thing of beauty. And if I hadn't just bought my new lab putter, I'd be buying a 35 inch one of these right now. I thought that was beautiful. The toe and heel weights are so subtle. I've left the plastic covers on deliberately, so don't go putting any nasty things in the comments because Guy's got a promo day coming up and he's asked me to leave them on, so I've got to respect that. It's really nice of him to let me use his swing centre and these brand new putters that have just come out. The price point of these is £269. Ping have done that across the range. I presume the arm lock might be a little bit more expensive. But they've kept it simple with the pricing. It's really nice. No, no, I can't do it. Okay guys, I really hope you enjoyed that episode. I love testing all this equipment. Now we're in January, all the new gear's coming out. We've got the Callaway Paradigm Smokes coming out really soon. Got an exclusive on those. So I hope you do enjoy this episode. If you did, give it a like. If you really enjoyed it, please subscribe and tell your friends about The Golf Show. And we'll see you next time on The Golf Show. I hope you enjoyed the episode of The Golf Show. To watch another, click here. To subscribe, click here.